to, we'll, we'll have some time for questions at the end. Again, I, I try to make it conversational, man. So we, we like to have yeah. fun around here. So feel free to, to hop in, ask questions as we go. So can you see my screen okay, Duvall? Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. Well, so I, my name is Doug. I'm the owner of Strategic Insurance. I have at the top, dream big and make it happen. One of my favorite sayings, I encourage the team all the time. And this really is a great business. Uh, and I'll kind of tell you a little bit about uh, my own journey. But I started in the industry right out of college when I was 22. I uh, started this agency when I was 26. I just turned 40. Depending on how old you think of 40, uh, my daughter, who's six, asked me if I was old when I just turned 40 this year. And I said, I'm still young enough to chase you down, uh, which I did. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but anyway, so I've been in the business about 18 years and owned the agency about 14 and uh, it really is a great business. I had a, a, another mentor one time, you guys will like this, Todd and Mark, who told me, you know, this is an industry you can go from the poorhouse to the penthouse and it really is true. And you don't need a college degree. It's wonderful that you're pursuing college. Don't get me wrong. I think education is important, but it really is an industry where you can get in, apply yourself, help people and really earn a fantastic living. So I, uh, I share uh, I am a person of faith. My faith is super important to me in Jesus Christ. You don't have to be a person of faith to work here, but outside of my faith, my family is my why. So I always like to start with a picture there. So you've got uh, my wife, Amy, <clears throat> my daughter, Abigail, just turned six. My son, Asher, just turned two. And my, my youngest daughter, Avery, just uh, just turned four. So, uh, you know, I joke and tell people I got a lot of motivation to work hard for a long time uh, for both our, our existing clients and new team members coming on and help people like yourself that are even considering this get on board and become successful. So this you can do part-time, you can do full-time, you can do remote. <clears throat> we really show you a proven system for results in a proven industry. So um, as, as I kind of jump in, I always like to just sort of ask people questions and, and, and get you to think about some things. So I want you to walk with me here for a second, Deval, and and think about uh, what people want out of their work life. And again, I know you're a young guy, you're, you're just kind of getting going on that journey, but uh, again, good things to start thinking even at a young age. And so, so here's what I believe, that people really want five things out of their work life. And, and you, you tell me if you agree with these. So I, I believe ultimately people want time freedom, okay? They, they, they don't want to be micromanaged. They want to be their own boss of their own time. I believe they want to be able to build financial independence for themselves and their families. I believe they want to be able to work in a business that actually makes a positive impact in the lives of others. I believe they want to be a part of a winning team, and I believe they want to build a passive income stream. Would you agree with all five of those things? Oh, yeah, I would definitely agree with those. Yeah, and I, I'm big on, you know, anything I can do to just pass good things on. Uh, I always like to do that and try and be a force for good. And, and again, man, I don't know if you're going to come on, join us or not. You know, I, I certainly would welcome the opportunity if you did. But really, whatever you're doing. I would encourage you, and as you go through college and life, you know, think about these five questions and think about where you're headed and what you're doing. Is it lining up with most, if not all of these, right? So yeah. where I'm going with this, the opportunity that we present to get into the insurance business and doing, as we kind of joke, call it the insurance side hustling, where you can do it either part-time or full-time, really allows all of these. It allows you an opportunity to have time for you. you. You are your own boss. It allows you opportunity to build financial independence for yourself. It allows you opportunity to really help other people with a very practical thing. This is something that everybody needs and is already budgeting for. It allows you to be part of a winning team <clears throat> and allows you to build a passive income stream. And that's probably one of the biggest things. And again, I know you're a younger guy. I don't want to take anything for granted. When I say passive income stream, are you familiar with what I mean by that, Deval? I mean, I know it a little bit, but I don't have all the knowledge on it. Yeah, no, that's okay. That's good. And it's, it's always good to be honest. So basically, a passive income stream talks about where each year when you get a client, and just keep it very simple, let's say you help somebody with their auto insurance or their home insurance this year, and next year that client renews, that means they pay for their policy again, you get paid again, right? And so the, the idea of a passive income stream, and it's certainly a big concept, and financial advising, finance, just in general, wealth creation, and the idea that I'm able to start to build income without having to do in some ways as much effort or work in year two and following. And that, that's a really yeah. huge concept because our industry, especially in the home and auto insurance industry, is probably one of the oldest out there. Uh, in terms of a legitimate, and I say that, a legitimate passive income stream. So um, I'm a big fan of Napoleon Hill. Um, have you ever heard of him? He's a, 
kind of a famous author, and again, you may not have, so it's okay if you haven't. Um, no, not really. Okay. So there's a guy named Napoleon Hill, uh, and he wrote a book in the, in, in the 1930s. So we're going back almost 75 years, uh, and he wrote a book called Think and Grow Rich. And really, if you look it up today, if you Google it or go on Amazon, it's, it's still one of the best-selling books of all time. It's for leadership, sales, motivation. And basically, I'll give you a summary at the end of our, our little overview here of what the book was. But he interviewed people at the time like Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Motor Company, J.P. Morgan, the founder of you know, uh, Chase Morgan Bank, Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, founder of General Electric, John Rockefeller, at one point the wealthiest man that had ever lived. All these men were still alive at that time. Uh, and he basically started to write the book and he was asking the question, what were people doing to become healthy, wealthy, and prosperous, okay? And he wrote this book called Think and Grow Rich after interviewing all these men. Again, we'll give you a summary of that at the end. But what I really like is just some of his thoughts. It's one of the things he talks about, he says, those who will not take a chance seldom have one thrust upon them. And again, part of that is just planting that seed that at some level, stepping out in faith and trying something uh, normally is, is something that's scary for a lot of people. And a lot of people don't even try at all. And so yeah. just giving you that idea now, of this could be something for you to step out and give a chance on. And what I'll say, and I really... Again, I think it's fantastic. A young guy like you is on here. And we do have, for what it's worth, Deval, we've got my youngest team member is 19. Or my oldest yeah. team member is 71. So we've had all ages and everywhere in between that are, are doing this. Uh, but the idea that the more chances you take at a younger age, in some ways, the better you are because the, the risk is lower. And, and, and Mark, Todd, I, I got to believe you guys would probably agree with that. That's Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You don't have a wife. You don't have kids yet. The, the, the stakes are a little bit lower. So, so what's so cool though, Deval, is if you do step out and take a chance on something like this and it does work and you do well, the upside is tremendous. And even if you try and it didn't work, you know, the downside's really not as big of a sting, if you will, because the stakes are a little bit lower right now. So again, just that idea yeah. of thinking about stepping out in faith and taking a chance. We talk about oh, yeah, building your business and our business. Uh, or put it another way, you can be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So, so you know, I imagine you've heard of, you've heard of certainly like McDonald's, Burger King, some of these very famous companies that are franchises. Yes. Yeah. So I kind of want you to think along that analogy in a sense that <clears throat> what we've tried to do with our model here is really create the systems and structure to help you become successful, show you how to get licensed, show you how to start to work warm markets and get business and then provide all the support for you to do that so that you don't have to do a lot of the heavy lifting quote unquote in our industry. Yes. And I'm really almost starting to use this term a little bit more. We're almost like a franchise, except we don't have the big fees, right? If I want to buy a McDonald's or a Chick-fil-A or a Wendy's, you know, that can cost two, three, four or five hundred thousand dollars, if not more to kind of buy into that and then they, you know, they kind of give me the, 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 the tools I need to become successful. So, you know, in our model here, really, we've got a lot built in with a very, very low monthly fee to help support you and do all that you're doing uh, in it. So <clears throat> again, you've got the opportunity to work on your time frame, part-time, full-time. I'm big on leadership development and motivation. Uh, I believe so many people are starved for recognition, attention, and someone to really believe in them. And so if you're a guy who enjoys being in a positive environment, having somebody to believe in you, have somebody to, to really almost like, a, a, like a, a football coach, if you will, help you get better. You know, I, I joke, I want to try and, you know, know when to give you the, the pat on the back and the kick in the pants to really help you succeed. I want to yes. be that person for you. So if you enjoy being in an environment like that, you, you would definitely enjoy working with us. Uh, so if we unpack a little bit more of the opportunity. So... Again, you know, we're in the insurance industry uh, where we do things like homeowners insurance, auto insurance, boat, motorcycle, flood insurance, anything that an individual or family would need. We do a lot of other types of insurance, but just for our conversation today, really going to kind of focus on those things and um, really want to highlight our mission, kind of going back to those five things, Devon, we talked a little bit about. You know, what are five things that people want out of their work life? Kind of talk about the time freedom, talk about financial independence. Well, one of them we said is making an impact on the lives of others. And so, uh, you know, this is a great industry in the sense that you can really help people. 
In fact, I trademarked our mission five years ago, and our mission here is to help families and businesses prepare, protect, and recover from life's unexpected events so they move forward with confidence. What does that mean? Well, again, we're in an industry where, uh, you know, if you're a client and you get into a car accident, that's a pretty upsetting thing. If you're a homeowner and you have a pipe break and cause a flood, that's a pretty upsetting thing. You would be part of the team that helps them put things back together. You're not the one that would have to be doing all that, but you'd be part of that team. And again, it's something you could feel good about. Yeah. Really also help them on journey. Go ahead. Help them, like help them on that journey to like, you know, be happier with things. And yeah, like, absolutely. Go back I mean, to normal. It's really, it's really, you know, think about this. You know, I, I was out. I've been running a lot just because my gym's been closed. So I was running at lunch yesterday and I got a call from a client who just got into a little car accident in the parking lot. You know, and she was just upset. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know who to call. So she called me, right? Uh, and, and so again, just to be there for people when they need you, and this is such a practical thing because everybody that you know has a car has got car insurance and people that own a home have to have home insurance. We're just really able to help them with something that they really need. And on the front end, a lot of times we're able to save people money and that's a great win up front. You know, we're working with a, uh, a business owner right now. We're cutting his costs. He's a small restaurant owner down in South Florida. We're cutting his costs in, by 50%. You know, we're lowering his insurance costs 50%. That's huge, right? Especially that's at huge. a time like this. So again, just that idea that you really get to make a difference and, and really help people. I wrote a book a few years ago called Surviving the Insurance Jungle. You can check it out on Amazon. Uh, and I really just wrote it as sort of a common sense approach of how to find the best coverage for the best rates possible for your insurance dollar. But why I highlight it here is the average American spends about 11% of their budget on insurance. I want you to think about that for a second. So that's pretty staggering. So that means their take home dollars, not, uh, you know, not their gross, but after taxes, their take home dollars, they spend almost 11% on insurance. That's when you add up things like homeowners, auto, life insurance, health insurance, any major medical. Todd does a lot in the, in the voluntary uh, space, which can be things like disability and cancer policies and on and on. So the average American spends almost 11%. And so why I highlight that here, again, is sort of just to magnify how big the opportunity is, right? Uh, you know, we're regarded as the second largest industry in the country, right after real estate uh, in, in terms of insurance. In, in 2018, uh, there was something like $618 billion worth of insurance that was being spent between home, auto, and commercial insurance. So again, just trying to put out there how big it is because there's so many people that need it, right? Yes. If we dive a little bit deeper into Florida, and obviously you, know, you, you grew up in Florida, you're a Florida guy? Yes. yes. Where, where are you? Where do you live at, Duval? Where in Florida? Um, I stay in Fort Myers, Florida. Four miles. Okay, cool. Yes. So, so the, the, again, trying to wrap your mind around some of these numbers, but <clears throat> the average Floridian spends about $5,600 a year on their homeowners and to insure two cars. So if you say the average Floridian to insure their home and two cars, it's about $5,600 a year. And that's a pretty high number. If we look again, in terms of sort of like national averages, we're normally the top three. We're normally somewhere with either Texas uh, California or Florida in terms of the cost. So, and we get paid and we'll talk a little bit about this in a second, but we get paid based on the premium. So we earn commission, uh, which is basically income that we get paid by the insurance company for helping bring policies to them. Right? So the higher the premium, the higher the commissions that are out there. And so really if on, on this screen here, I talk about the power of compounding commissions. And so, you may or may not have heard in the past the power of compound interest, just that idea that over time, money starts to grow and build on top of itself, okay? And again, I tell people, look, this is not a get quick rich model, scheme, or business by any stretch of the imagination. And frankly, I think the best opportunities in life are not the get quick rich. These, this, this is build wealth over time yeah. uh, in a proven industry that's not going anywhere. So. Where we're talking with this, just to give you an idea of sort of what do the numbers look like? How much could I make? What do I have to do? Kind of wrapping your arms around some of that. On that previous page, we said the average flirting spends about $5,600 a year for their home and two cars. Well, if you were to help 10 families a month with that, so you help 10 families a month with their homeowner's insurance, 
and two car policies, in your first year, you would make about $41,000 a commission. Okay. Yeah. Now it could certainly be more than that. If you did more than 10 families, it could be less than that. It could be anywhere in between just trying to give you a little bit of how the numbers work. And then in year two, this is sort of, again, where we talk where the magic happens. We talked about those five things that people want out of the work life. This is where the passive income comes into play. And so this says in year two, those policies that you wrote that first year, they renew again. You're going to make about 18000 in renewal commission. Now, those aren't clients you've had to do much for, frankly. All they do is they pay their bill again, uh, and, and you get paid commission. And it's a pretty wonderful thing. And now, if you were to add in another new business year of the 10 families a month, month in, month out, now I'm almost at $60,000 in year two. And again, that's just doing 10 families a month. If we were to extend this out, so think about this for a second. And the, the, the average income in Florida, the average household, that's mom, dad, everybody, the average household income in Florida to this day is about $54,000 a year. So, so again, that's, that's pretty good money if you can go out and make that happen. If you were to do this and just follow this train of thought here, if you were to do this for five years, so I help month in, month out, month in, month out, I help 10 families a month for five years, let's ballpark it and say about 500 families over five years, you're at six figures, you're at 102,000 in income and you're renewaled by that point, that passive income part is is about 60 percent of your income it's about 62,000. and again this is not assuming you're insuring you know multi-million dollar homes and, and lamborghinis right this is yeah. just sort of your regular mom and pop what we would call main street business and again the, the, the opportunity far exceeds that you know you the sky's the limit on it there, there's no yeah. cap on what you can do does that make sense though in terms of how some of that that works any questions on that Oh no, I mean I understand it how it just grows on itself every year because of interest and you know just renewing it every year. That's right. Really interesting. That's right. So talking a little bit about our team here and some of the things that we do. So in terms of our systems and training, we put all of our new team members with a team lead. Uh, I've got several team leads, including myself. I'm pretty involved. I think Mark and Todd would, would agree to that. Uh, just to help new team members. And so the idea that you're, you'd be a new guy, giving this a shot, we want to make sure that you've got questions, you've got challenges, you say, hey, what do I do with this? How do I quote that? I've got a client asking me this. We pair you with someone that you've got a direct line to. Um, I also do weekly Zoom training. So just like we're on a Zoom call right now, every Monday at 10.30 a.m. I do a Zoom meeting. And we do several things in that meeting. We go through a motivation moment. Uh, again, kind of big on the professional development and try to give you an idea or a concept or a thought that's going to help you. Uh, you know, this week, and there was a quote that I really liked, and it was talking about the stream versus the rock. And it says the stream beats the rock every time because of persistence. And just that idea that if a stream goes over a rock enough time, it basically starts to break through the rock, right? So we kind of try and really give you some good motivation and good professional development tips. Then we do some insurance training, we go through some specific insurance training, how to do homeowners, how to do auto. We do some role playing. So you've got a place to kind of learn uh, yeah. while you're out there again. I know you're, you're a sports guy. It, it, it's the practice part. Uh, and then we also do some, some sales and marketing training. We really try and go through and every week go through some sales and marketing training to encourage you on your journey and what you're doing out there. I've got a closed Facebook group. Uh, that's just for our team. We do post all of our trainings on there. Again, I realize you're a guy, you may be in college, you know, doing other things, you may not be able to be on that meeting, but it's the type of thing you could pop onto the Facebook group, pull up the Zoom meeting, and maybe listen to it on your iPhone as you're at the gym working out or doing something like that. So we post yeah. all our trainings on there. And then that group is just really our tribe, right? So it's a spot where, again, you can ask questions, we share successes, welcome new team members, whole host of things, have some fun on there. I've got a YouTube training channel. <clears throat> so again, we've got some videos that you can pull up on demand and just say, hey, how do, I, how do I quote homeowners? How do I quote auto? I need marketing help, whatever it may be. There's several videos on there and we're constantly looking to add. And then I've got a personal lines team trainer. So Leanne Dugan kind of sits over my entire team and she's yet one more resource that's there for you. So again, and I know not all this may make sense right now. All I want you to know is that there's lots of support here to help. That, that's the big takeaway. This is not a, hey, you know, you, we, we show you how to get licensed and you just kind of get thrown to the wolves. 
talking a little bit about the team itself and, and us, again, we talked about the five things. We talked about joining a winning team. Well, we feel really blessed. We've won uh, quite a bit. And I, and I truly believe my best and our best days are here to come. So one of the things uh, to share is we're a best practices agency. And what that means is we've been identified as the top 1% of insurance agencies in the country. There's over 45,000 insurance agencies in the country, less than 250 get this title, okay? And that's by our national association, by the big eye. So we feel really, really good about that. So you'd be plugging in a really top agency here locally uh, by the Tampa Bay Business Journal. For the last several years, we've been identified as one of the top 25 property and casualty agencies. In the past, we've been named one of the best places to work. Again, by the Business Journal, and then, you know, everybody knows Google and Google reviews. We've got right around 200 five-star Google reviews. So in terms of coming on a, a, an established winning team, you'd definitely be joining that. <clears throat> and then really, I know you're a younger guy, just in terms of the technology. We've invested a lot in technology. All the technology we have, it's all web-based, browser-based. We make it very easy for you to access the systems uh, to run your business in essence, that basically everything that you would be able to do, you'd be able to pull up on your computer <clears throat> online, be able to run homeowners, to run auto, to run proposals, take notes, set follow-ups, send things to clients, do all of that. So we've got quite a bit there. We're also in the final stages of working on an agency app, and this is going to be an app for your iPhone or Android. <clears throat> and this is going to allow you to help with your prospecting, your marketing, and also if you have any interest in doing team building. So again, we're, we're excited to try and really leverage technology to help our team win. Uh, in the media, just show this page. We, we, we've been very fortunate the last several months. So earlier in January, we were featured in Yahoo Finance, Morningstar, Latin Business Today, Market Watch. Some pretty big names picked up a press release on us about this model, about helping people get into the insurance business, doing it part-time, doing it remote, providing the infrastructure, the training, the support, et cetera. No one is doing this right now, literally. There's no one else uh, in the state or really even in the country with sort of a model like ours. And, you know, that really excites me. Uh, you know, we, we love kind of doing things that are a little different and really trying to help. So, and I, I share that again, not, not arrogant at all, but just as a, as a kind of proof source credibility in terms of what we're doing. And, and so if we kind of break down a little bit further, you know, the opportunity is really, we call all of our team personal lines, risk management advisors. We really teach you a lot about insurance, about how to help people with their insurance. And in terms of our commission structure, we talked on that slide a few pages ago. If we kind of help that 10 family a month mark, we'd make 41,000 our first year. Year two, we'd make about 60,000, about 18,000 of that was renewal. Uh, the way this works is whatever the commission is in the first year for new business, you make 50%. So if we just keep the numbers very simple and we say you write a homeowner's policy and the commission to the agency is $500, you would make $250. And in general, your commissions on first year, on first year commission, depending on the premium, you'd probably be looking anywhere from say $150 to $500, depending on the size of the policy, right? It's all a percentage of the premium. And then at renewal, we pay you 25%. And each year that policy renews, we pay you 25% or whatever that is. Any new business you continue to do, a new client to the agency, we pay 50%. And then really the big thing to highlight is we've got a service team here to help you manage that book of business. So, uh, you know, in our industry, there's quite a bit of service, what we call service work. And so that means think about this every time somebody moves or they buy a car, or they sell a car, or they have a claim or they have a billing issue or they need to refinance a mortgage or uh, any of those things, there's gonna be some level of work that needs to be done. Well, we've got a dedicated service team to help with that. That means you're not the one having to do that. We're the, our team here is supporting and doing that. Uh, and then our second option, we also talk about, you've got the option if you want to build a team at any level, and that means you would recruit other people and bring them on, you have the ability to do that. And in that first year, we pay a 25% commission override for whatever they do. Uh, and it doesn't take out of, um, out of their new business. They would still make the 50, but we pay you 25% for you introducing them into the team. And then the idea that over time is you would learn and do more, that you would be helping them with some of the same questions that likely you would have in the beginning, proposals, working with clients, networking, prospecting, things like that. And then year two and following, we pay 5%. And so 
that's really important just in the sense that uh, you, you've got opportunity. If you want to build a team, you can do that. You can leverage your time and talents and help build other people around you to help grow your income. So yeah. I told you at the end, I was going to share with you the uh, kind of that Napoleon Hill, that think and grow rich. I love, again, this quote by Mark Twain. I have at the top here before I do the, the, the summary, think and grow rich is Mark Twain's got a great line. He says, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the wins you did do. And so again, it kind of goes back to that thought of stepping out, trying, taking that chance, right? <clears throat> so Napoleon Hill, if we go and we look at his formula for financial success, which again was a summary in the Think and Grow Rich book, he really had six things. Number one, you got to have a specific goal. We're very goal-oriented here. We do quite a bit in onboarding and training with you to help be very goal-oriented. Uh, number two, you got to have a specific time to achieve your goal. So we talk about that, about having a time-sensitive goal. You got to write your goal down, number three. Number four, you got to plan to achieve your goal. You got to create that action plan around it. That's number four. Number five, you got to decide the price you're willing to pay to get to that goal. And then number six, you got to think about reaching your goal every day. And again, we really plant those seeds for success early on and show you how to do that. So in terms of next steps, if there's interest at any level, and Mark certainly can help answer some questions too. I'm always here as well. We do do a background and credit check with everyone. We just want to make sure you can pass that so that you don't have any issue down the road getting appointed with some of the carriers in the state. Uh, so we do a basic background and credit check. That's $60. We do have a 1099 advisor agreement. So that's a formal agreement between you and, and the agency. Uh, protects you, protects the agency, outlines our commissions, outlines our structure, all these sorts of important things. Um, I do an onboarding and marketing action plan meeting tomorrow, and, and that I charge $79 for. It's really a function of my time. I spend about an hour and a half with you. Again, you can kind of look at it working with a coach, working with a personal trainer. I really spend a lot of time working on how are you going to get business, how are you going to create a marketing plan, uh, and then creating goals around that to help you become successful. In terms of the license itself, so you do have to have a license, okay? And the state requires that. <clears throat> the total cost to get your license is about $250. Um, and we do have a special pricing through ExamFX, which is an online, uh, basically, school where you can go and do your class all online. And right now, there's never been a better time, frankly, in our industry because of all the COVID-19 stuff going on. Normally, after you go through this online class, you have to sit for a test. You have to go and sit for an exam, just like you would in school. Uh, but because the exam centers are closed right now, the state's allowing what's known as a temporary insurance license. So they're letting people get licensed for up to six months right now without taking that state oh. test, which is huge. Uh, now, long term, ultimately, once things kind of come back online and get back to normal, we'd certainly have to take that test. But that's really a great opportunity right there. I also do have a licensing reimbursement program, which basically says, look, you're going to have to pay for the cost of the licensing up front, that $250. After you get licensed, assuming you come on board with us and you write three insurance policies, I don't care what it is, what the premium, what the commissions are on it, that you've written three at any level, I reimburse your cost. You just have to remind us, say, hey, you know, we came on board, wrote those three policies, we reimburse that cost. So again, just kind of as a way to, to help people with some of their initial costs. The only fee I have at any level ongoing uh, is what we call our agency support fee, and that's $79 a month. That provides access to all our systems and technology. And again, I, I kind of joke with people, it's pretty darn hard to run a business for $790 a month, let alone $79 a month. So this gets you access to the technology, the software, everything you need to run proposals, help clients, all of our service team, all of that. That gets built right to a credit or debit card. And in the first 90 days, I actually advance commissions. And so what does that mean? In those first 90 days, we do a weekly commission advance, which says whatever you wrote the prior week up until Wednesday at 12 o'clock, that's sort of our cutoff time, we pay you an advance commission that Friday. So, uh, you know, for example, if you write a, let's say you write an auto policy with Progressive today, well, I don't necessarily get paid on that. My agency won't get paid on that for 30 days. That's just the commission cycle that most of the carriers run. So I, in essence, float that cash for you to put dollars in your pocket up front. And then we true up when the commission statements come in once a month, and we true up your commission account. So we do that to really help, help people get going. So um, any, any questions for me as we kind of wind down here on our, our overview? No, not really. I mean, I just took in all the information and 
you know, I'm going to think about it. For sure, Devon. That sounds great, man. Well, listen, again, I give you a lot of credit for even being on a call like this. What I'll do, um, well, listen, I know Mark's got all your contact info. If you've got questions at all, you're interested in taking next steps, you want to talk any further, why don't you just reach out to Mark? I'll make sure we all get in touch and we'll go from there. Okay, for sure I will. And, and I'm really interested in it and I'm ready to take the next step it is to, you know, get further into this business. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, so do you want to, do you want me to shoot you an email with the next steps and the licensing info and all of that? Yes. Yes, okay. sir. All right. Well then let me get, uh, Deval, what's your email address? Um, W H O. Okay. B P. Okay. Six at gmail.com. Okay, so we've got W H O and then B is in ball boy P is in Paul six at gmail.com. No, it's W H O P P. So like WAP and then six. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so P is in Paul, P is in Paul six at gmail.com. Yes. And Deval, what's your last name? Green. G R E E N or another E? G R E E N. Got it. So just G R E N. Yes. All right. Well, sounds good, Duval. I uh, I enjoyed meeting with you, man. We'll send you this. And again, if you want to come on board, we'd love to have you. If you've got any questions at all, let me know, okay? Okay, for sure. It was nice meeting you, too. It was great meeting you. You guys, you all have a great day. Mark, Todd, keep me posted. Anything I can do to help you all. Excellent. Thank See you, guys. guys. See, See you soon. soon. Bye. Bye now.